This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show and we bring you feel good stories. Well, words cannot describe the level of success of our next guest that has, oh, we have her in our studio. She was born in a small town called Pichatif, South African soprano. Pretty Yende has risen to the top of opera in the world with her unparalleled success and speed. Well, the debut album celebrates the milestones of her sublime musical journey that started when she was only 16. A turning point was hearing a song on a television commercial. How's that, eh? Well, years later, she is uh, debuted at La Scala. She's an international artist. She had a breakthrough at the New York's Metropolitan Opera. And we're extremely privileged and honored to have you in our studio this morning. Pretty Yende, welcome to the show. Thank you. It is a good morning indeed. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Do you want to Thank say hi to Mummy? I know she's hi, watching mommy. this. Hi Mummy, hi everyone. Hi South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> For many people, you are an inspiration here in South Africa. But I, I want to know, where did your journey begin? It started in my living room in Petra Teeth at home. We were watching TV like any other evening at home and there was this ad on TV. And those 10 seconds for me changed my life. It was something so supernatural that I never believed it was humanly possible. So when I went to my high school teacher and asked him what it was, and him telling me it's called opera, I said, is it humanly possible? And when he said yes, I said he must teach me because it was really something that I thought it was not humanly possible. That is insane. So we're talking here about Delibes Flowers, that duet. So he actually taught you the song and that's how your opera journey started? Started, exactly. It was like destiny found me. <laughs> one of the most beautiful melodies in opera, one of the most beautifully written um, melodies for two voices. It's called the flower duet, it's in French. And uh, when I heard those 10 seconds of those voices, for some, for some reason in my soul, I knew what it was, but my mind had no idea what it was. So I was so fortunate that God gave me the talent in order for me to be able to do this, actually. Well, talent is clearly not enough because you've got beauty too, you've got confidence. <laughs> You're sitting in this chair this morning. What did it feel like singing it professionally? Well, the first, and the first time we sang in Durban, it was the most excruciating and fearful event of my life because mm -hmm. it was something that I was not probably prepared for. It was the school, school competition in Durban and I was so nervous. I was never so nervous ever in my life. But then of course with experience and accepting my gift and accepting my time, things got better and it does actually get better with time. Well, things didn't just get better for you. Things got really great for you. I'm thinking of where you went on to study. I mean, from Petra Tiff, you went to the South African Music College. We're talking UCT. Then also, you were the first artist in history to win first prize in every category in the International Belvedere Competition in 2009. We're talking Austria here. We're not talking Petra Tiff, okay? <laughs> Did you ever see this happening? Of course not, because, um, you know, you make dreams and you make castles in the air, but you're actually not having the exact happenings. <laughs> and so when it happens, it's a surprise to you too. Mm. I mean, for me, I think it was one of the most surprising moments because it was a tool for me to get myself overseas. And uh, to take that risky route was something so out of the ordinary. And um, it worked out so well. And I always say the reason why I probably won all of those competitions it was because I was not competing, and so I had not the pressure of competing the with the next person. And this is a lesson for life as well, and the career that I'm having right now, that everyone has that greatness, and I am contributing to the greatness. It helps me to be centered. It helps me not to see myself better than, because you cannot compare. Comparison is a thief. Your words are making me emotional. I feel so moved by what you are saying because you are saying, why compete if you are great? What a, what a beautiful thing to say. I am totally moved by what you're saying this morning. I'm actually trying to cry. You, you, you just completed, is it, is it um, Teatro La Scala in Milan? Yes. You completed an international program in order to teach opera to other people? Tell me more about that quickly. Well, I was one of the first uh, South Africans to be uh, in the program. Mm -hmm. And that for one was a milestone. And the whole journey, I call it, it's a pretty journey because it's my journey. Yeah. And to be part of the program and to be so near in La Scala has been something so extraordinary for me. And it's my dream to tell every child in each and every village, everywhere in the world, that you can be that child who can make the impossible if you just believe. Well, we believe this morning for sure. What's it like studying and also learning and, and teaching in a foreign country? 
Well, I'm not teaching. I am actually a professional freelance artist, mm. singing and performing mm. in New York, London, Crazy and Paris, <laughs> and in Milan. And so teaching is not part of my journey mm. yet. My journey yet is, is, is still in discovering how this extraordinary talent that has found in, inside me and sharing the joy in, you know, in, in the process. You are making me so emotional this morning. Pretty Indy is in the studio this morning. She is an internationally acclaimed Soprano, and she is in my studio this morning performing to next to people like Andrea Bocelli. They should say he performed next to you because <laughs> that is just another level. Well, listen, you're going to stay with us. It's great having you here. Thank We're you totally proud much. of you. This is your feel good breakfast show. I'm going to calm down just a little bit because I'm totally emotional and moved by what you said. <laughs> Over to you guys. Oh.